At the 2017 Tour of California, a few names were tipped as the hot favorites for the overall victory. Maybe Andrew Talansky would finally get it right. Ian Boswell hoped to ride well, as did Lachlan Morton. One rider few mentioned was the young Kiwi, George Bennett, of Team Lotto and El Jumbo. His high altitude training paid off when he launched what would be the decisive attack on stage two, taking Rafael Mica, Boswell, and Morton clear with him on Mount Hamilton. It was Bennett that animated the entire day, eventually finishing second on the stage to Rafael Mica, but gaining a handful of seconds that would prove critical as the race played out. Riding for Team Lotto and El Jumbo, George Bennett has his pick of Bianchi bikes to race, and rather surprisingly for such an adept climber, George chooses the Bianchi Ultra XR4, a bike with the slippery shapes to be considered a pure aero race bike, but designed by Bianchi to be an all-rounder. I mean, a bike can only be 6.8 kilos, right? So if it's, it's a super aero bike and you can have it 6.8 kilos, then why not? You know, when you need to, to be fast everywhere, it's not just about going up the hill. And it's, it's super light, and especially with the new Shimano stuff, it's a uh, super nice bike. The Ultra XR4's tube shapes are deeper and more aggressive to maximize aerodynamics, while a new integrated bar and stem from Vision shaves an additional 20 watts from the rider's effort. While George clearly appreciates the aerodynamics, as a rider expected to perform over a tour's queen stage, comfort is also key. You know, I've had a few setup issues in the past trying to get us all back things like that, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty smooth ride for uh, how stiff and light it is. Yeah, I really find it a beautiful bike. That smooth ride comes courtesy of Countervail, a layer of viscoelastic material sandwiched in the carbon layup itself, reducing high-frequency vibration. It's this Countervail technology that adds the all-important ride quality so many aero bikes lack. And this is what truly makes the Ultra XR4 a successful all-rounder. The GC battle boiled over on stage five to Mount Baldy, the race's queen stage. With Tolansky joining Bennett, Boswell, and Micah in the lead group on the final climb, he did his best to shake Bennett and the other riders. Tolansky may have won the stage, but he failed to gain any significant time on Bennett and his Bianchi Ultra XR4, a fact that would haunt him during the Big Bear time trial. Riding his Aquila TT bike, the bike that inspired the aero shapes of the Ultra XR4, Bennett turned in the time trial of his life. Micah slipped to second overall, and Talansky could climb only to third. The overall lead was Bennett's. Boys, we're in yellow. Get on the rollers, warm up, and we're the game. It's a lead his Lotto NL Jumbo team would protect over the last day to deliver George Bennett the biggest win of his career and Bianchi the biggest win for its new Ultra XR4, an aero road bike with beautiful all-around capabilities, masterfully displayed by George Bennett at the 2017 Tour of California.